right, good morning. Welcome to Wednesday, October 26th. Good to see you today. Today's reading will be Luke chapters 19 through 21. I don't know if it looks a little brighter in here, extra glare off my head, whatever. Uh, I had a new light up here today, or yesterday, so it helps with the eyes, right? Now, we talked about this uh, in the Old Testament, how slowing down three chapters a day has helped. Uh, you know, just in this reading today, you know, just saw something new. How many times have I read Luke? But we'll come to that in a minute. Of course, we have, you know, Jesus uh, eating with Zacchaeus, the conversion of Zacchaeus. Now, remember, he isn't saved because he gave away half his stuff. He's saved because he put his faith in Christ. And then you saw fruits meet for repentance afterwards. You know, you saw actual actions afterwards that followed his salvation. And then we have the parable of the ten pounds. Uh, one thing that we should learn from this is that Jesus is more concerned with our effort than our outcome. You know, he knew that the person he gave the extra pounds to the, you know, would turn more over. He was right. And then the person who only gave one, you know, he was right there as well. But when that person brought only one back, the Lord was dissatisfied with it because he didn't put any effort in. He just out of fear, was paralyzed and buried it and brought it back. And in essence, you know, if you take a dollar and go bury it somewhere and bring it back, it's worth less later than it is when you buried it. Then we come to the colt, the donkey, the triumphal entry, uh, not spoken of very widely in Luke. Jesus' authority is challenged and man, he answers it perfectly. The parable of the vineyard, again, aiming this right at the scribes and Pharisees. Perfect answer about taxes. And then the Sadducees come with a question they don't even agree with. They don't believe there's an afterlife, so what's the point of asking about the afterlife other than the fact that you're trying to catch Jesus in his words? Notice that even the scribes are seeding the victory. Um, yeah, you've answered well. And then Jesus now goes back after them with some aggressive questioning. Then chapter 21, I've pointed this out a couple times. Jesus never... Matter of fact, you look out throughout the Bible, the Bible never tells people to stop giving. Now, that's not an encouragement for us to give. It's not an encouragement for, I'm just making the point. Then we get to the second half, chapter 21. And so that is, you know, just like Matthew 24, 25, talking about the tribulation time. Now, this one covers a broader time than Matthew 24 and 25, but I noticed something new this time through. Look at verse 18. But there shall not a hair of your head perish. Now, remember Matthew 24 talks about being delivered unto death. This one's different. Now, what is happening here is this is talking about the 144,000. Jesus is speaking to them 2,000 years ago for the 144,000 that are going to be preachers of the gospel during the tribulation. You know, just a slight difference in this one that's not in the others. But when you read here, you, you see that there's more signs before, more signs after, and it seems to be a broader um, time frame. And again, notice throughout Luke, Luke mentions a lot that people came to hear him, and um, I'm glad they did. All right, hope you have a great Wednesday. Looking forward to Bible study tonight. Have a great day.